Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today I'm covering how to connect to SQL Server database using Python. This is a common question that comes up in the ETL series. So I decided to cover it as a video so I can direct viewers to it if they're facing this issue. There are a few prerequisites for this. We need SQL Server database installed and configured. I have covered that in this video here. Also, we'll use Jupyter Notebook to troubleshoot the database connection. Jupyter Notebook installation is covered in this video here. You can find the links to these videos in the description below. For SQL Server, we use the SQL Server Native Client 11. We can download it from this link here and it'll be available in the description. So we click the download and once the installer is downloaded, we bring up the installer and uh, install this program with default setting. We can check the registry editor to make sure the SQL Server native client is installed. The registry key will be under local machine, software, Microsoft, and Microsoft SQL Server native client 11. If you have this key on your machine, then the client is installed. If you have the setup complete, then let's launch Jupyter Notebook and test the connection. In order to connect to SQL Server database, we use the PyODBC library. We can install it using a pip command. Pip is the package manager for Python. So we can say pip install PyODBC and we run the cell with this command. In this case, it is printing out that the requirement is already satisfied, meaning this library is already installed. Now we can import it in our notebook. Along with this, let's import the pandas library so we can read the data from the database and save it in a table-like structure. In order to connect to the database, we need few key pieces of information. We need username, which will save it into a UID variable. Password, we'll save this in a variable PWD. And for SQL Server, we'll use the SQL Server native client 11 we'll store this in a driver variable. Along with this, we'll need the server name where the database is located. In this case, it's the local host or your computer name and the database name. And if you have followed the previous video where we installed that SQL Server database engine and restore the database, then we are using the AdventureWorks database. We use these variables inside the pyodbc.connect function. With the help of these, we can connect to a SQL Server database. Inside the function, we concatenate the driver variable after the driver equals, and we concatenate string with a plus symbol. Following this, we have the server name, and we set that after the server name. Since we have installed the SQL Server Express Edition, the Express version has the SQL Express as the instance name. If you have the regular or the developer version installed, then you do not need the instance name after the server's name. So it'll just be server equals server. Then we set the database, user, and the password. This function returns a connection to the database. We save this into a con variable. Now we can use this con variable to connect to the database. Before executing this script, we want to make sure that we have the database and the table set up in the database engine. To confirm our setup for SQL Server, we can launch the SQL Server Management Studio. In the Object Explorer on the left, we locate the database. And if the AdventureWorks database exists, it's a good sign. You have successfully restored the database. We can expand it to look for the tables that we are ingesting. Let's go ahead and select the Product Category table and preview the data. So we'll right click on it and do a select from it. We can select all columns from a table with the asterisk symbol to simplify the query. Let's execute it to make sure we have data. And we will copy this query and bring it into our notebook. Let's go ahead and save this query into a variable called SQL. Now we are ready to read data from the database. We will use pandas read SQL query function to query the database. We have all the required components for this function. We provided the SQL variable, which contains the SQL query, and the database connection 
that we have saved in the con variable. Let's go ahead and execute this cell. We can use Shift plus Enter key to execute a cell. If this cell execute without error, then congratulations, your setup is complete. And you could carry on with building ETL pipelines. However, in some cases you might face an error. The common error are the absence of the native client. So make sure you have the native client installed prior to running the code. The second most common issue will be the TCP IP protocol is disabled. To enable it, we can open the SQL Server Configuration Manager and select the network and configuration. Once we select this, we'll see the options on the right. Make sure the TCP IP protocol is enabled and named pipe is disabled. If it is disabled by default, we can right click on it and enable it. After you enable it, make sure to restart the SQL Server services from the top you can select the appropriate uh, instance. In this case, we have the SQL Server Express. We can right click on it and click restart. And once the services are back up and running and your TCP IP protocol is enabled, you can go ahead and troubleshoot the connection again. This is all for now on the database connection. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you in the next video.